All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jules here and in this Halo Custom Edition uh, map review video We're gonna be playing a single-player survival map. It's called Dead Halls. It involves killing a bunch of flood has a bunch of wall weapons a pack-a-punch That's like it's a lot like Call of Duty Zombies. It takes a lot of inspiration from that So let me just actually see if it's in this section. Okay, I'm just gonna have to launch it There we go. Based off of, I believe this is Rat Race. Controller's a piece of shit. I love it. Always does this right at the beginning of the video. It's great. We can use your help, sir. All right, so we got a cool elite there. That we got an elite in Sergeant Johnson. Wall weapons. A grunt. And I'm assuming this is where we start. Alright, well, we're gonna start it up. And here it goes. Not okay. It's a bunch of marine bipeds with flood movement and animation. And I literally think the spawn is endless. I don't think they stop spawning. That is OP. It's not even okay. Of course, now I gotta be careful not to kill myself this thing. Oh no, I killed myself with that shit. Wow. Oh. Come on, man. That's so dead. <laughs> so you got these laser traps that you can activate, just like in COD. I believe these panels are to open up that door. And that will open up Pack a Punch for us. Oh, my God. 
see any additional panels. I'm just really blind. Oh, there it is. Literally right in front of my face. Oh, and look at this. Good old ray gun. Actually, put the ray gun in. This is awesome. I can hit the good old pack punch. Look at that. One hits with a long shot. It's fully auto. I guess it just does increase the damage. So we got, we got the regular vehicle. So of course I'm not going to go on for too long with this map trying to survive in it. Um, you could probably survive indefinitely to be honest. Oh, boomstick? Oh, what is this? Oh, that is stupid. That's actually retarded. Yeah, that's not even fair. Yeah, I won't actually go tr trying to survive for as long as I can. Because it'll be a while. But, um... Definitely show off some stuff. So now we have the Porter X2. Oops. Oh, I killed myself, but it looked bad. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna go over the last couple weapons I forgot to go over. For the sake of content. Yeah, I'll get these pack punched. Stick is obviously my favorite weapon, though. We'll admit that. And there goes my controller again. So let me unplug, replug. It's not fun having to use a shitty Android cable for everything. So boom. That one's hit. Oh, so you gotta do. Okay, when you pick up the power weapons, you gotta actually swap to them to use them. So, this is that custom needler. weapon we're going to test out before we go ahead and end this out. Flamethrower. Oh, and the AR, because somehow I, ma I didn't manage to back punch them. The other one flamethrower is just 
just such an awkward gun. Or awkward weapon to have in this game. It really didn't fit. That would have been cool to have seen it in a campaign, I don't know. I guess it didn't really belong. has a better battery, slower overheat, better overheat recovery. Oh, I fucking killed myself. It's fantastic. Alright, last gun to test here. AR. Let's do it. Of course, every time you hit these three panels, you get pack a bunch unlocked way at the beginning. Not really sure that there's even a round system. I thought that the timer pops up, I just realized that right there. I like the camos for the guns, the, the silver, this chrome is really cool. So anyways, I mean, that's pretty much all that there is to show off about this map. Um, let's see. Oh. There's no many way to escape, you have to just do it manually through the command prompt. Or, yeah, the little command shit. Console. But anyways, um, yeah, the map isn't too massive, you know, it's a small part of Rat Race, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's a fun way to burn time, you know, if you only got, like, a little bit of time to play, 10, 15 minutes or something, you want to burn, burn some minutes up, you can play, you know. It's pretty cool, it's fun, it's never-ending, there's no round system into it, which kind of sucks. It would be cool to have a wave system incorporated, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty cool concept. It would have been cool if the guy would have made another, you know, an updated version of the map. Uh, maybe there is one somewhere. I'll have to look around and see. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this map review. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, sub if you're new. If you have any map suggestions, leave a comment of the suggestion of the su suggestion. I can't talk. Just talk, Jules. Talk. You can also DM me Halo map links on Twitter of any maps you want me to download and try out. Feel free. It can be any map. It can be single player, multiplayer, firefight. Um, open source, required map, SPV3, anything, literally anything I will do. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you all later. Peace.